was the night that launched the revolution. And that historic goal breaker came from an Adelaide veteran. The cross comes in, and it is in, and it's Carl Vett who's knocked on the door, and he has the goal. Tonight, the Jets want revenge against the team that's top of the A-League class. We are live and exclusive from Hindmarsh Stadium here in Adelaide, the home side Adelaide United, getting a visit from the Newcastle Jets. Adelaide United, of course, still top despite the loss to Sydney last match. The Newcastle Jets coming off three straight losses and desperate to get back in the fray as they chase up the ladder. A good crowd building up. It is a nice occasion to kick off the second block of matches in the Hyundai A-League. And joining me in commentary is former Socceroo Robbie Slater. And what a battle it should be. Well, what a test for Newcastle. They're having a difficult time of late. And they come to... Adelaide United still smarting from their loss in Sydney last week, but they are still top of the table. And it's going to be a very, very difficult game to do the Newcastle Jets. So we see Nicky Carl there you know, against the best defence in the league. Only conceded five goals, Adelaide United. There is the Adelaide Bear and a little bit of dancing going on. So they're pretty confident down here in Adelaide. Of course, they've been leading the way. The big ball is out. But it will be the smaller ball that takes centre stage here. As I say, good crowd in for this one. And there are the Adelaide core fans. Dedicated fans they are. Plenty of them travelled up to Sydney for the big clash at Aussie Stadium last week. Players now in the tunnel. As I mentioned, Robbie, if Newcastle fans wanted a boost, they get it with the return of four big players to their starting lineup. And boy, did they need him because Adelaide, we've mentioned it so many times, one of the best drilled and martial sides in this competition. Well, it's a big boost for Richard Money. He said in the pre-game show, uh, without those players last week, it was a difficult game against Perth Glory. But they welcome them back with open arms tonight. They'll be interested to see Ante Milicic, how he is moving. He's had a difficult 10 days. Hamstring injury. But uh, he is a key for them tonight. Yes, yeah, a big game player, Milicic, there's Johnson, he's back in the fray, of course back from a cork he had, getting a few words from Mark Shield. Now you could hear Mark Shield giving a message to Richard Johnson, it might be some jewellery, a ring perhaps. I actually remember uh, myself being told once to take my ring off but uh i actually did tape it um, been retired for quite a while now neil i'm not really sure what they do these days whether you, you're still allowed to tape them well you have got a fair jewelry collection but uh don't worry about that for the moment here's the roar for the two teams Fairway apart on the ladder, these things. It's 1v7. Adelaide United. Let's have a look at the way they line up. 4 4 2. Beltrami in goal. Matthew Kemp at right back. Reason Valkanis in the middle. Van Dommel back on the side at left back. They are the key players there, of course. And the Newcastle Jets, that is their line of players. Look at the big guns back in this side. Johnson, Milicic. Carl and Jade North back from Socceroo duty. Parisi perhaps a little unlucky to be on the bench, but uh, Richard Money sticking with Labano Haliti alongside the returning veteran Milicic. Newcastle in the travelling away strip of white. Let's have a look at the key players, Robbie Slater. Chen King Chu, a slow start, two games only, Milicic five, but twice they've scored, 7-4 on target Milicic, so they are two big names here tonight. Well they are, and uh, two big names that have been hampered by injury, Chen King Chu missing you know, most of the start of the season, and Ante Milicic, as we know, has had his problems, first with a calf injury, then a, a hamstring injury, and there he is, and you know what sort of guy he is, he hates missing play. And uh, 
pretty that's a pretty exclusive to every player I guess but particularly Ante he's announced before the start of the season that he doesn't care who's here Archie Thompson Dwight York he's after that golden boot well he needs to have good hamstrings now if he wants to get it yeah Shen King Chu uh, hampered as you say by injury well, he really getting going but uh, intriguing of course alongside Fernando Reck up front Mark Shield the former World Cup referee who we believe will go to Germany again is the man in charge for this one he had a big tough night out in Sydney you wouldn't imagine the temperature will drop too much here at Hindmarsh. Perfect conditions here now. Adelaide against the Jets to kick off round eight in the Hyundai A-League. And Adelaide in their traditional home kit of red get the early touch and we've seen that play right from the kickoff before in fact 11 second goal who could forget that but it quickly goes down the other end now Nicky Carl getting an early touch <laughs> Robbie Slater we spoke to plenty of the Adelaide players they were very disappointed to be beaten by Sydney there was all that talk in the press about an unbeaten run and whether you think that was ambitious or not Going in front of Sydney, they were stung to lose that match. They were, and uh, not very happy with uh, Mark Shield, the referee, and they've got, got him again tonight. But you know, that's now in the past. They have been beaten, and they're still top of the table. So we've got here, home game. Here is Shen Ping Chu, who fires off an early shot. And he appeals for the corner from Shield and gets it. Perfect night for football. Decent crowd building up. As we see Shin Kang Chu dropping off into a little hole. Twisting. Little dribble. The deflection gives him this corner. So an early chance for Adelaide. Flat looking corner. Which never really gave teammates the chance. A good chance to put Newcastle defence under pressure early. It was not a good corner from Shin Kang Chu. Wasted opportunity. Adam Van Dommel back in this Adelaide starting lineup. He was there right back at the start, but a little bit of time out of the side. Long throw looking for Chu, who does well to keep it in. Again, Van Dommel, pressured by two Jets. Seven points apart on the ladder, so a massive game for Newcastle against the league leader. Good header by Val Canis, but... Still a chance for the Jets. There's Johnson getting forward. Now Matteo Corbo. Carl. Little layoff for Cola. Now Fernando Reck from Adelaide can turn and link up with Viet. Who plays it early, looking for two. But Liam Reddy out. That was a good idea. Just a bit too much on the pass. We have an Adelaide player down who will need attention. Balcanis. Uh, no one's had any joy against them this season so far. Now Van Dommel. Costanzo. Cut out by Johnson. A chance to counter now for the Jets. Away goes Matt Thompson, who's got plenty of toe. Tries to slide it in for Milicic. And he turned, just couldn't get his foot around it. Good positive run from Matthew Thompson. Cutting it back. I'm sure if Ante Milicic knew that Nicky Carr was running just behind him. It was possibly more suited for him. Here we see. In fact, it was Labano Haliti who was there. That was a good chance for Newcastle. They broke quickly. The ball given away in the halfway line. Not making the most of it. 
So the Jets have gone looking for Milicic early. Here he is again. Down the line for Carl. And the flag up on Nicky Carl. Back from suspension. Fernando Reck from the challenge of Richard Johnson. Strong challenge. Richard Johnson coming into the back of Fernando Reck. Gives a free kick away, away in a pretty useful position here. Ross Aloisi on the ball. So the Adelaide captain just chips it into the box. Valcanis was the target. But Newcastle deal with it. Nice little play by Haliti, who was pulled back by Aloisi. And Mark Shield has perhaps a little alternative but to give a yellow card. And Ross Aloisi not happy. A professional foul. And Mark Shield, in spite of the game only being seven minutes old, pulls out the first yellow card. Khalidi was away. Here we see it, and Ross. Well, certainly wasn't very well disguised from Ross Alawisi. So Matteo Corbo from Newcastle sends it towards the Adelaide box, away by Valcanis. Only as far as Carl. Now picking. Cola for Carl, who's tightly tagged by Matthew Kemp. The Jets force back. And pressure now for Zelic. Chipping in was Carl Viet. And a brilliant challenge across because Viet had two Adelaide players streaming into the box. The picker came across in the nick of time. Well, he needed to. Ball given away. Newcastle had easy possession. And Carl Viet pounced. Here we see square ball. Calvet, pretty good first touch. And what a tackle from Alan Picken. Fernando Reck was waiting for an easy tap in. That's great defending from Alan Picken. So in from two, good looking corner up goes Reddy with the fist. And two deep from Matthew Kemp, but great pressure coming from Adelaide United. Clever player, Carl Viet, 35 now, but pops up all around the park, scored that first goal, of course, to announce the A-League in Newcastle. Well, still retained a lot of his speed, Carl Viet, 35 years old. So he pounced onto that ball. He does like to break from that left-hand side. Very versatile, can play up front, as well as he has done already this season. Foul going against Johnson. So a chance for Van Dommel to send it forward. Leaves it for Valcanis. And you get it from the Adelaide defender. So happy to take their time. Play by Zelic. Here's Costanzo for Adelaide. Valcanis sends it long, but it's easily cut out by Jade North. Nipping in with the header there was Johnson. Another chance now for the Jets. Labano Haliti. Nice ball inside for Nick Carl. Nicky Carl tries the shot. Keen to test out Beltrami. That was a decent strike. Good run for Haliti. Matthew Thompson had made a good run. Carl put, elected to go by himself. Got it out of his feet, but just got underneath it. Signs from both sides here. Willing to attack. 
game quite open really for the opening 10 minutes. Now Rec over the top for Aloisi, but Reddy was alert. Yes, a good tempo to this match in the opening 10 and a half minutes. See a little run, dinked over the top. Ross Aloisi just a bit too long for him. Now Haliti couldn't take it in his stride, allowing Adelaide now to build down their right-hand side. See here Matthew Kemp playing it right back. Has a pretty good partnership on the right-hand side here with Richie Allegic. Great thing about those two players is they can interchange at ease Richie Allegic. Played many times at right back. Matthew Kemp many times in right midfield, so it's a good little tandem here on the right-hand side for Adelaide United. Now Zelic, dispossessing Chu. Milicic. Carl's gone inside, still Milicic. Now links up with Johnson. we go wide for Thompson. Overlapping his north, in it comes. Just got a deflection, they don't deal with it. And it's in the goal. Off the shot of Milicic. We might have to check who got the final touch. It could well be an own goal. Well, Antti Milicic accepting the congratulations, but you can tell by the look on his face that it's not his goal. I think you'll find this nil is an own goal, but what great movement. Ball whipped in across. Belkanis missed it. And there's the ricochet. I think it's come off Christian Reese, but what a great run from Jade North. I think it was Matthew Kemp who might have actually got the last touch. You see again. Flick through. Milicic spreading the ball wide. But good movement from Newcastle. Yes, 13th minute. And he's registered as an own goal against Matthew Kemp. Not much he could do about it. The blast out from the back. Straight into him and straight back into the Adelaide net. So a shock somewhat against the run of play for the competition leader and home side. Well, one thing's for sure, Neil, is he'll open this game up. Matthew Kemp, as you said, really no fault of his. Now away they go down this side again. Labano Haliti. Checks his run, comes back inside. He tries to dink it over in the direction of Milicic. Well, it's a poor decision from Milicic. He had Nicky Carl just to play a little ball into and elected to keep going and Adelaide closed them down. But Newcastle causing some problems down the Adelaide United left-hand side. That's where the goal came from. Now Wreck, cop one in the back from Alan Picken. Third foul against the Jets, just one for Adelaide so far as we creep into the 15th minute here at Hindmarsh. So again, Aloisi looks the most likely. Delivery and Reddy's out, he didn't get hold of it. Here's Matthew Kemp! Through the traffic, not sure how much Reddy saw of it. Well, the ball comes in from Aloisi. Reddy comes, gets a hand to it. It's not a good punch. Matthew Kemp does very, very well to keep it down. And Newcastle escape. Certainly both sides creating numerous chances. Newcastle are the ones that have taken theirs at the moment with a little bit of help from Matthew Kemp. And for a team that's only conceded five so far, I'll be disappointed to have conceded in that way. Yes, a tough way to go a goal down as we see a little nudge from Sheng King Chu on Mateo Corbo, who I'm sure would have been delighted to have seen his countrymen 
finished fifth in South America, the Uruguayan. I'm sure there was some banter in the dressing room, Newcastle dressing room, with that match coming up. I suggest he might need to move out of the country for a couple of weeks when those games come around. Yes, for four or five days at least, Matteo Corbo, but he's in Hindmarsh at the moment, and his side is a goal up as Carl Beard works back for Adelaide. Now Alagic. Kemp closed down by Corbo. Well, from the games I've done so far this season in the opening seven rounds of the Hyundai A-League, this is the best start to a game I've seen. Tempo very high. High technical level for the players on show at the moment. Lots of movement. Milicic timed his run nicely. Linked up with Haliti, whose touch is a fraction heavy. So a pretty intense opening of this match as we reach the 20th minute mark. Trickery from Carl. Threatening ball was cut out. Now Zelic. Gives away the foul. So Adelaide, ball in from Kemp. Now Ben Dommel's ball cut out, a real chance now for the Jets. Thompson, fleet of foot, might go all the way Matthew Thompson, but the boot came in from Van Dommel. Good run again from Matthew Thompson. Nice and positive. But that time, too many red shirts and a good tracking back from Van Dommel. Now, Shen King Chu. All played squared, was looking for Aloisi, who was on his heels. And Newcastle take over. Here's Johnson. Diagonal switch is looking for Milicic. Christian Rees for company. Trying to pick out the late run from Johnson, but here's Nicky Carl! And what a finish from Carl! The big guns are back in the Jets lineup, and they are doing some early damage here at Hindmarsh. What's well, another mistake? Adelaide United, Nicky Carl pounced onto this. Great strike, gets a look onto the outside of the boot onto this, swerves it in to beat Daniel Beltrami. And who would have believed that beaten 5-1 at home by Perth Glory last week? And Adelaide United, top of the table, Newcastle have come here and shocked them. Newcastle taking a two-goal lead. The home fans stunned here. It was a speculative ball, originally looking for Johnson, but it fell beautifully for Carl on the outside of the boot. Has sent some sort of stinging message around Hindmarsh. The Jets up by two. John Cosmina up on his feet. Adelaide United just need to take stock. Don't lose their heads. From two down, but there's a long way to go in this match. There's John Cosmina. For a team that's defended so well this season, be very disappointed where they've conceded the opening two goals. Yes, almost unknown territory for Adelaide to be two down. They've been, I guess, the game setters all season. They get a corner here. In 
by two. Ready, trying to get over the top of the traffic. Reese is on the ground. He has words with Thompson. And it's all threatening to go off. Mark Seal, for a moment, can't get control of it. Plenty of words from Aloisi. Zelich is called out. So a yellow card for Christian Rees. For Mark Shield, who gave him a decent sort of lecture as well. And Liam Reddy gets a yellow card as well for his retaliation. The roll threatened to boil over there as, uh, I'll tell you, this match has had some tempo to it. And now it's got a ball to throw into the mix. Yes, and you could tell that it was a, a booking for Reddy by the reaction from the Adelaide fans as we have another look at it. Well, the ball comes in. Reddy's up there, Christian Reese. Well, got the free kick, Liam Reddy, but then he retaliates and then it's on for for one and all. Yes, it almost looked like a little bit of a rugby league tackle, and we know he's the old man Rocket Reddy was the test second row, the former Saint. We won't care about that in Adelaide for the moment because they've got a two-goal deficit to try and drag back here. Now Aloisi. Shield will bring it back. And another Booking, this time for Paul Kohler. Well, Richard Money won't be happy with those two bookings. Completely unnecessary. Liam Reddy at retaliation. This time Paul Kohler for obviously talking back, making some sort of comments to Mark Shield. Completely avoidable yellow cards. But Adelaide, I said before, they need to kick, take stock. Certainly not panic. There's plenty of time left in this match. They need to do what they've been doing all season, stick to their football. Here's Aloisi going on a run, Aloisi. The ball inside, there were plenty of Jets shirts there, including Johnson. Great run from Aloisi. The captain leading the way. Surge past two players. Thought he might have taken the shot, but elected to try and cross it. was well cut out by the Newcastle defence. So Adelaide lifting the tempo, here's Kemp. Challenge came from Carl, but Kemp trying to tiptoe his way through. It comes back in from Viet, away by Pickin. The clash, Costanzo and Carl. Johnson takes over, now Thompson. Jade North, back from Socceroo duty, joins in. So you can feel the pressure cooker atmosphere around Hindmarsh. The crowd has continued to build up after the kickoff. And they will try everything to lift the boys in red here. eight bookings last week Mark Shield he's already given four in this match two for both sides now Alagic working hard across was Milicic they've started it in the best of all fashions 2-0 up now Milicic for Newcastle, slightly deeper position. Nice ball to open up the play on the right for Jade North. Milicic continued the run. Haliti is up there, but the big arms of Beltrami take over. God, what a throw that was from Daniel Beltrami. Reminded, reminded me of Peter Schmeichel in his heyday. 
this well I think we got a little snapshot of the fast bowling days of Daniel Beltrami they tell me in Adelaide rolling the arm over and hitting Fernando Rec right on the chest so Richard Money content manager for the moment two goal lead in Adelaide well he said it before the match he was looking for a, a reaction and he's certainly got one here another good jump from Picken but Stanzo just chesting down for Kemp Corbo asks his front men to go on a gallop Controversial last week, Mark Shill, I guess. Uh, Adelaide claiming for a penalty and injury time. For me, probably had good cause. 11th foul of the match. Zelic pumps it into the box. Valkanis gets there first. <laughs> Trying to turn was wrecked, but in doing so, he gave away the foul on Nicky Carl. Here we see the foul, Fernando Rick using his body. Mark Searle judging that he's used his body just a bit too much. Another dangerous position. So Nicky Carl sizes up, up. Thompson over the top. It's Carl who goes deep. Decent effort coming in there by Paul Kohler who just couldn't drag it back. Good run to the back post from Paul Kohler. Set move, Nicky Carl. Just over hit the set piece. <laughs> so pressure for Val Canis, but he deals with it well. Then Dommel says, let's get out of here. the Jets coming off three straight losses really came into this match desperate to get something out of it in order to stay in some sort of touch with the leading teams now Aloisi was looking for Aligic but get a second chance Reese says we'll take the long passage through two lays it off for Carl Veert Veard measures his cross, he goes across to Matthew Kemp who may have got caught in two minds Oh what a great chance Matthew Kemp great position good ball to the back post from Carl Veard trying to just knock that one back but just took his eyes off it for a moment and the chance was gone Aligic pumps it downfield. Good jump again from Picken. Has been outstanding in the air in this first half. Now Chu. Former Chinese footballer of the year. Again we see the Newcastle midfield working in numbers as well. Breaking down the Adelaide attacks. Was dropping off for the Van Dommel ball. It allows Newcastle to power away. Van Dommel does well to get back and fix his own initial error. Here's Wreck. Hasn't been given much space. The first 35 and a bit minutes. Quick throw. Here's Chu. Off his line was ready. I think that's what Chu had in mind. 
while he saw him saw ready coming off his line he's gone to lob him he's just taken a little bit like matthew kemp before on the back post taking his eyes off the ball the last minute so if he got any sort of connection a decent lob we would have scored also had matthew kemp on the right hand side all on his own the clever throwing quickly taken sending Chin Keng Chu away. Again, the pass from Van Dommel didn't find its man. Time now for the Jets to size it up. Here's North. Van Dommel in quickly ahead of Thompson. Well, he has been in the action, Adam Van Dommel. Good, bad, and plenty in the middle. Take it quickly, Adelaide. Good switch to Alagic. First time in, they might think about something here. Chu. Back to Alagic, who floats it into the back post. Beard had made the run. They stay up, Van Dommel. Aloisi was coming in, and he will get the corner. Where the ball coming off Corbo. Referee's assistant giving it. Good pressure from Adelaide United. So again, Sheng King Chu. To line this one up. It's deep. Picking again. Costanzo tries his luck. Off for Van Dommel. No, it's Carl Viet. Sorry, it's Ross Aloisi. Would you believe it? The centre half coming up, getting another goal scored. That's Sydney last week. It's his third goal of the season, Michael Valkanis. It's a great ball in from Rosso Luisi. Newcastle really never cleared the danger. He stands out of bite of it. Ends up playing out here, Daluisi. Paints the crosser with his right, comes back on his left. Great delivery. Good downward head up with angle. No chance for Liam Reddy. And Adelaide back in the ball game. What a headache he is becoming for opposing defences. Michael Valkanis, a sensational header to drag Adelaide back to 2-1, but Newcastle looking to hit back. First time in from Corbo. It was aimed at Milicic. Now Aligic. Space for Matthew Thompson to turn. Into the feet of Aliti. Now North. Cut out by Costanzo. Who does it ever so well. Gets the return from Aloisi, not quite. A no good idea. Two midfielders combining. Just a bit too much on the pass from Aloisi. What a cross that was from him for Valkanis' goal. Really sets this game up. An amazing tempo to it. The way come Adelaide again. Here is Matthew Kemp. Aligic darts by down the flank. He gives it to Aligic. He swings it in. Kemp has continued the run. But it was cut out by Johnson. It's a poor ball out. Only as far as Aligic who sends it in towards the back. Jade North got the first head in. Good pressure. Calvert on the back post. Richie Alugic. Got two bites at it. This was a much better ball in. Looking for Calvert coming from the back post, but Jade North did enough. Costanzo. Adelaide with their tails up. 2-0 down, they've come back to 
Certainly the momentum swinging with them. Newcastle have been excellent in this first half. But Adelaide now sensing maybe that an equaliser even before half time isn't out of the question. Well, the fans are certainly singing in that direction at the moment. A lot of noise around Hindmarsh. There's Haliti now. Tries to get the better of Van Dommel. And the home crowd will settle for the goal kick. Haliti stays down. Well, the physio running on. He's certainly got a long run. Right over there in the corner, Mark Searle checking on Haliti. Appeared to maybe kick the ground as he went to cross it. So he looks in pain. So it gives everyone a breather in this match. There's been many of those. Great tempo to it. Newcastle with lots of movement in the middle of the park. Adelaide hitting back. Momentum changing many times throughout this match. As the Adelaide United fans. Well, I don't think they even went quiet when they went two down. <laughs> and certainly they're a lot noisier now. Don't you love those t-shirts? We will, we will wreck you. <laughs> With a thought into that one. And the fans in red. There's Belcanis, the man of the moment for them. Here we see the ball. Stands out to Rossello as he faints with the right foot. Comes back on his left. Great ball in. And that's a very, very good header for Michael Valcanis. Now Zelich sends it back down to safety. Chance for Adelaide. Spread the play. Here's Christian Rees. Goes long looking for Veer, but Liam Reddy. Good goalkeeper. Made his decision, came out, made it his. Now Costanzo. In for Veer. Nice first time ball for Aloisi. Aligic. Through the legs of Corbo, picked up by Chu, back for Alagic, who's on the charge. And a big tackle came in from Paul Kohler. That's good, good tracking back. Matthew Thompson. Thompson it was. Sliding in, Richie Alagic. Combination with Shinken Chu. Wonderful back heel. That's a timely interception, but another corner to Adelaide United. The pressure builds. Again, they go deep. Ready, got a touch on it. Another corner. Liam Ready getting an important touch and crucial time in the game. Into the 45th minute. Newcastle looking to hold on to this lead. 6 0. Adelaide lead the corners. The pressure is relentless. Again, it's two. Whips it in with pace. We come out now for Aloisi, who slips over, bounces back, and gets the better of Nicky Carl. In by Aloisi, away by Corbo. Everyone takes a breather. Kemp sends it long. It might fall here for Carl Viet. Just didn't get that first touch, but again Adelaide. Knocking on the door for an equaliser. Costanzo across for Reese. Back for Alagic. They climb! What an effort from Carl Vett. Almost running away from goal. What a great play from Adelaide United. From one side to the other, Richie Alagic had Aloisi. He didn't use him. Carl Vett coming in off the left. Great header, just lacked a little bit of direction. But Adelaide United have come back with a vengeance.
tempo from Adelaide is relentless at the moment as Christian Rees jumps up and was too hard on Labano Haliti, says Mark Shield. Oh, exactly what they needed, Newcastle, just to take the sting out of a rampant Adelaide United in this last 15 minutes. Chance to slow the game and kill it off. Get into the dressing rooms with this lead. So the first minute of two extra minutes here at Hindmarsh. There's Milicic, cut out by Costanzo. They might be able to break. Fernando Rec to Aloisi, now Viet. His cross wasn't up to its usual standard and only found Nicky Carl. That was Carl Viet. He's unlucky as he went to deliver that ball. He saw Richie Allegic breaking down the right-hand side. Just the execution, again, taking the eye off the ball. And he's been excellent this last 15 or 20 minutes, Carl Viet. Such a reliable player for John Cosmina. So down the middle again from Beltrami. Here's Costanzo, cut out by Carl. But Nicky Carl won't have time to do anything with it because Mark Shield brings a halt to a dramatic and entertaining first half. An own goal from Kemp. And then Nicky Carl got Newcastle second. What a header from Val Canis to get Adelaide back as we troop off for the break. And Robbie Slater. It was willing right across the middle early, but Newcastle the experience, and a man like Carl Viet can pounce at any time. This ball, square ball there from Alan Pick and Jay Paul Short. Carl Viet pounced onto it. He saw Fernando Wreck in the middle, he just couldn't get the ball to. He was seen coming across, north goes, Viet too quick, good first touch, gets his head up, sees Wreck, and a timely interception from Alan Pickett. He did cause plenty of damage down that side. Carl Viet, forward or dropping off. And that was a close shave for the Jets very early in the match. But they responded and just two minutes later, one of their key players coming back, probably Nicky Carl, bounced up. Well, Lebano Haliti with the right, the run down the right-hand side, cuts it back to Nicky Carl. Sees Matthew Thompson the run, elects to go by himself and just gets underneath it. There we see the run from Thompson. Thought he might have played him in. Got it out of his feet. Plenty of power just got underneath it. Yes, they were building pressure after a couple of scares early. The Jets and Carl was, was instrumental, but I guess, Robbie, they wouldn't have banked on how they would get this opening goal at Hindmarsh. Now went from one side to the other. Ante Milicic here, coming to the left, changing direction. Richard Johnson, out to Jade North. Cuts it into Jade North, sorry, crosses over Milicic. Off Beltrami, off Kemp, and an own goal. let see Matthew Thompson playing in Jade North. Failed to clear it, Christian Rees. They got the luck of the, ball, the bounce, and Newcastle took the lead. Poor old Matthew Kemp, the Canberra-born. The player could do little off the boot of Beltrami, who did very well to put the foot out, but it stung the home crowd. Milicic thought about celebrating, then he realised what had happened. But Newcastle, well, they really lifted, and Nicky Carl, all the pressure from midfield, told in the 22nd minute. As Milicic actually looking for Richard Johnson, it comes off Ross Aloisi straight into the path of Nicky Carl, and he buried it. Here the touch from Aloisi, got it wrong. Outside of the left foot, good finish from Nicky Carl. Out with a suspension for one week, Carl, but as you mentioned, Robbie, opportunistic goal. Brilliant finish with the outside of the foot. And it was unknown territory for Adelaide United to be down by two. Here's Let's another see. look at it. Yeah, good, good technique from Nicky Carl. Picked his spot outside of the left boot. It's one criticism we have about his game, it's not enough goals. He's certainly got one here. Here's Costanzo, comes back to Costanzo, lays it out to Ross Aloisi, shapes the whip this one with his right foot, comes back on his left. Great delivery, good downward header with angle. 
and they were back into the match, Adelaide United. Yes, we mentioned plenty about Michael Valkanis and what he can do from good deliveries into the box and third goal with the head this season. It was, it was just great the way Adelaide United came back into the match, 2-0 down, they didn't let their heads drop. You know, they got this goal after so much pressure and in fact, from this point on, keep, kept on pressuring and could have perhaps sneaked an equaliser before half time, but it's Newcastle who do lead. So the Adelaide Brains Trust, happy with the way things are, despite trailing by a goal, and certainly Michael Valcanis has been one of the outstanding defenders of the season, but a change from the Jets, Franco Parisi in the number 17, he's on the pitch, and Labano Haliti is the man who's made way. So Mark Shield gets this second half underway at Hindmarsh. Adelaide trailing by two goals to one. They were 2-0 down, but dragged one back through the head of Michael Valcanis. Franco Parisi on for Labano Haliti. A like-for-like -like switch up front from the, for the Jets from manager Richard Money. <laughs> Adelaide, of course, came into this match on top. The Jets back in seventh place. Here is Parisi now in plenty of territory. He was looking to slide it through to Milicic, and what a timely boot in that was for the home side. Here is Milicic. Tries to get the better of Alagic. Carl, he was shut down. things away. The ball across the centre circle went behind Wreck and now Newcastle take over. Zelic trying to release Parisi. The flag has stayed down and the challenge came in from Van Dommel but a corner for the Jets. Parisi scored the con consolation goal against the Glory last week. Gets his chance now to put some more space between the Jets and Adelaide. So Thompson for Newcastle. Making the run was North, but out to meet him was Costanzo. Back in from Richard Johnson will only provide a touch for Beltrami who sends it long. Now Jade North, here's Thompson. North's gone for the return. Matthew Thompson's galloped forward but North prefers to use Kohler behind him. Now Carl. And good work from Costanzo. Good covering there from Ned Zelic coming across. Now Aloisi trying to play in Chu, who was just harassed enough by Zelic. A good little ball there from Ross Aloisi. Shin King Chu, just for the mo for a moment getting the wrong side as far as Ned Zelic was concerned. But Zelic coming across, just doing enough. And the tempo kick off here in the second half. Adelaide will want to keep it up. Great pace for the first half. Really was the first half with Newcastle dominating early, really. And Adelaide powering home the last 20 minutes. Sets up a wonderful second half. Now here's Chu. All that have run, but... Nicky Carl was alert, he breaks away through the middle and tries to release Parisi. So Franco Parisi for Newcastle, it's a decent looking cross. Matthew Thompson, and the challenge again from Costanzo took all the pace off it. I think Costanzo just doing enough. 
Matthew Thompson lining up for the strike. Good work from Parisi on the right-hand side. Big chance for him. Scored last week. Working back nicely was Nicky Carl to dispossess Alagic. They give it back Newcastle. Here's Costanzo. Used his body nicely across the face of Richard Johnson. That's been an intriguing battle, that one. Richard Johnson and Ange Costanzo. Richard Johnson trying to close Costanzo down every time he gets the ball. Newcastle have done their homework. A lot of build up and play starts through Costanzo. Sits in front of their back four. Nice layoff for Viet. He almost got it back. It was clever work again from Carl Viet. Great ball there from Paul Kohler. Now to Milicic. And Milicic. He switches it for Johnson. North overlap for Johnson. Plays a nice ball across. Franco Parisi was a toenail away from a touch. And perhaps a third goal. Well, good movement from Newcastle. First from Jade North. See him going down the outside. Gives Richard Johnson the time. Whips in a nasty ball. Milicic making the near post run. But that opened it up for Parisi at the back post. Very close to a third for Newcastle. There's a tense moment for Beltrami in the home goal. As Adelaide get a free kick off the foul from Alan Picken. Costanzo takes it quickly. Here's Van Dommel. At the back. Back in from Reese. Here's Valcanis. Little bit of juggling from the defender. Back to Van Dommel. Who dinks it in again at the back. Well, what a touch that was required from Matteo Corbo. Oh. Corbo with the faintest of touches, but it was enough to save a certain goal. Good pace again as Parisi picks out Kohler. Plenty of switches in the match. Here's Milicic dropping off. Parisi's continued the run. Tracked by Costanzo. Another corner. Good start to the second half for Newcastle. Both sides keeping up the tempo. Desperate defending from Newcastle there, but do have another corner. Second corner for the second half. So the Jets, just the two corners. Adelaide have six, but the territory for the visiting side in the opening seven minutes of this second half. Johnson was looking for Thompson. Here's Carl! Newcastle players hands go straight to their heads and how close that was it just opened up nicely for Nicky Carl the ball comes in good first touch again goes for the near post might have been better for the second go for the far post let off for Adelaide and this might be a let off for the Jets because the captain Ross Aloisi has been battling this ankle injury and has been pulled off and Chad Bujaya joins the action so Aloisi training ground accident he only made 12 minutes against Sydney interesting to see the Adelaide in a medical sense are content with the 52 and a half minutes they got out of their skipper Ross Aloisi well they made, made their goal they wouldn't be too displeased or Maybe just a few days ago, he wasn't going to start at all. There's that battle again, Johnson against Costanzo. Carl Bear taking up Ross Aloisi's place. DJ is going to the left-hand side of midfield. Carl Bear playing at the top of the diamond. Now two. He's looking for camp. It might fall for the Chinese player, but Newcastle were there in numbers. Dommel. Zelic gets there in front of two, but nicely on from Viet. Good first time ball. Here's the new man, Bujaya. 
who sends it long and deep. Alagic might get there first. Yeah, Pujay's first touch and tried to whip it in with his left foot. Now Nicky Carl for the Jets. Milicic, good run from Thompson. Valkanis sliding across. What a season he's having. Bradley United scoring goals. We see John Cosmina <laughs> still with a worried look on his face. Really a Vidmar there next to him. And disappointed with the two goals they conceded. Defensive errors. But they've come back well, Adelaide. Jade North. For Cola. Now Thompson was clattered in Dubai to Stanzo. Play goes on. Now Bujaya. The ball inside for Viet was nice, but it had crossed the touchline. So Parisi. Fleet of foot, good turn. Carl can turn himself. Nicky Carl tries it, but the bend was all wrong this time. Oh, he goes with the instep, full on the laces, Nicky Carl. I thought he might have tried to bend that. The inside of the foot. It's a little ball here. Gets away from Costanzo. He looked, maybe just bend it far post, but he's hit with the top of the laces and skewed it off to the left hand side. 8-5, the Jets lead the shots. More importantly for the Newcastle side, they lead the match 2-1. Tough challenge in on Costanzo, who gets up and wants to go on with it against Johnson. Robbie, you've been mentioning that battle right through the match, and it's on again. And the yellow card has been shown. Against Johnson for the challenge. And Ange Costanzo not very happy with the challenge, but I think Richard Johnson's been under directions that every time the ball goes near Costanzo, he's to close him down. And uh, he went beyond the call of duty there and put himself a yellow card. It's been a real intriguing battle, that one. Fifth booking of the match as Van Dommel sends it deep. And too deep. Oh, it's a poor delivery from Van Dommel. He's better than that. Left side. Maybe could have taken a touch. But far too much on it. And Fernando Reckley racing away to get the ball. Uh, obviously been away for a while. And the NBA League, we do have numerous balls around the ground. They think it's a lucky ball, but time will tell on that one as Newcastle get a free kick here. Johnson saw the run from Thompson, but it was too deep. Johnson's got plenty to say as again tempers get a little frayed. There's one thing about Richard Johnson, he won't take a backward step. His physical fitness is crucial to his game. So a congested box. Climbing was wrecked. Nicky Carl. Chances opening up at both ends. Cross for North. Paul Kohler. Been very busy right from the off. He dinks it in towards Parisi. Cut out to Stanzo. Works with Viet. Now they can break away. Chad Bujaya, who is fleet of foot. Right the way across for Matthew Kemp to chase. Just put the brakes in there, Matthew Kemp. A good vision from Bijaya. Paul just had 
a little bit too much on it. Interesting part of the game now. It's on the hour mark. Adelaide chasing. Castle for the moment. Man. Too concerned the way the game's panning out. The good thing about Newcastle, I think, is that when they have the opportunity, they're attacking. They're not just sitting back defending this lead. For me, that always spells trouble. For such a long time trying to protect the lead. A lot asked there of Matthew Thompson. Van Dommel, good switch of play. Now Allegic. And that's the one, isn't it, at the moment. It's the final ball in. That was Richie Allegic. And it was Van Dommel before him a couple of minutes ago. Crossing from an area, I guess, that Newcastle defence would be quite happy with. 30, 35 metres out. Defenders to look at it, judge it, feel that Allegic and Van Gogh will try and get him behind with, with a better option. Carl Beard, dispossessed by Milicic, ball over the top for Parisi, he just can't keep it in. Promising start for Parisi. Canis. That'll fall nicely to Chew. Raise it off for Allegic. Looking ball from Allegic to Kemp. He tries to get round Corbo. Taking up a nice position was Alan Pickham. Yeah, he did well. Got around Corbo, but just couldn't get enough on the cross, Kemp. That was better from Allegic, cutting inside, freeing Kemp. Ball breaks down here, the free kick to Newcastle. Milicic is still looking for goals. Yes, fouled by Christian Rees. Goes in the direction of Milicic. Tackles finding their mark at the moment. Pick and battling with Chu. Here's Corbo. Probably Adelaide United. Certainly played well in patches tonight. Maybe get a little bit more out of their front two. Both of them played a lot. Fernando wrecked the new player and taking a little bit of time to get yeah, accustomed to the Australian weight. Something too missed a lot of the season with injury, but maybe a bit more out of those two. Now Milicic for Newcastle. So fans right around this ground being entertained. The pace won't let up as now Adelaide bring it down. Two off for Matthew Kemp. Valcanis, Van Dommel, trying to get around Matthew Thompson, making a good fist of it, Van Dommel, and the cross, just a little deep, oh, but much better play from Van Dommel, taking Matthew Thompson on, trying to get around the back of him, it's a wonderful ball from Corvo, falls travelled at least 55 metres in Parisia, there is no right to miscontrol that, the Corbo will be the one dirty. Chance wasted, but Van Dommel, good ball to the back post, and Matthew Kemp, both he and Richie Allegic have come inside. Now Thompson, who spotted Milicic running into a channel. Valkanis cut it out, but only as far as Johnson. 
Milicic. He's shown no signs of that hamstring problem that's played this season. He's played forward, he's dropped back, he's gone from side to side. Here he is again. Off for Jade North. Nose looks strong. Milicic, no sign of the hamstring injury and has certainly not been hiding. He's in the left hand side, right hand side, making plenty of runs off the ball. Now Nicky Carl back for Zelich. Parisi had stayed up, did he beat the flag? He didn't. Caught offside the Jets. Clean sheet in that department for the home side at the moment. Mateo Corbo continues to guard his side of the paddock. Now long throw from Alagic. Pieces Adelaide United. So the big timber from the back goes up into the Newcastle box. There's Val Canis. He has Adelaide's goal tonight. In from two was short. Gets it back from Van Dommel. They will be allowed to go on here. Van Dommel was passive. And they'll get another chance from the corner. Two very relieved to get another corner because pretty much mucked that one up. Went short and was dispossessed with it. He gets another bite at it. Eighth corner of the match for Adelaide United. Swung in. It's dangerous ball in. And there is the equaliser. Big Christian Reeves. They've done it again. Up from the back. First Valcanis. Now Reeves. Christian Reese, the two centre halves. Can be a top for the first goal for Adelaide United, but he's pulled one back here. The Newcastle plays, asking Mark Shield. Is there a foul on Liam Reddy? I don't think there was. You see here, Liam Reddy. And it's his own player, Corvo, that gets in his way. And Christian Reese is virtually on the line. Puts it away on 2-2. Did it go off Reese or did it go off Mateo Corbo? I'm sure Christian Reese really cared, but I think that will go down as an own goal off Corbo. It was a very tricky angle and such tight traffic. Well, it was so tricky that it tricked me. Well, he's filled up Christian Reese the way he celebrated. It doesn't really matter, does it? Because it's the more important thing for John Cosmina is that it's brought them level, but they're now a free kick to defend. Thompson for Newcastle. They climb! And would you believe it? Nick Zelic found his way into the box. What Adelaide can do, Newcastle say we can do better. Oh, I think Adelaide United is still celebrating the equaliser. Nick Ned Zelic comes back First goal of the, the Hyundai A-League season for him. Perfect header. Direction. Gets in between two Adelaide defenders. Still, how many times do we say you're always most vulnerable when just after you've scored? And certainly that was the case for Adelaide United. But what a game we have here. 3-2. 3-2 to the Newcastle Jets. An outstanding header from Ned Zelich put the visiting team back in front but only just finished celebrating a goal that Christian Reese was paying for all money we will get confirmation that it came off the head of Matteo Corbo but no doubt it came off the head of Ned Zelic as Adelaide Nago looking for a third and Matthew Kemp with the 
free kick there. Hitting the first man and it was a good position. Well, you believe it's sweet so two to Newcastle. Here is Zelich. Might have won a foul at the expense of Fernando Rex. There's a bit of experience there from Ned Zellick. I'm not sure if there's much contact there from Rex. But Ned going down and gets himself a free kick. And Ned doesn't get too many goals these days. One could prove to be a, a crucial one. Although for Adelaide they still have over 20 minutes to come back again. This time, Zelic at fault on Rex. So it's chopping and changing by the second here. You see the free kick. Zelic's hand on the shoulder of Fernando Rex. And another set piece. So Shen King Chu goes to the back stick. Well, Matteo Corvo, I think for a moment he had a, a flash vision of what happened just a few minutes ago. Well, I think Corvo maybe thought exactly what I did. I thought that was a great ball into the box. Corvo might, didn't know what was behind him. It just needed an Adelaide United player to attack that. And a change here from John Cosmina. Richie Allegic comes off of Travis Dodd, who's been battling a virus through the week. He joins the action and what action it is confirmation I believe of an own goal for Matteo Corbo so two own goals in the match two own goals in the match and sold one of the great dummies around Hindmarsh to all and sundry including us Christian Reeves but it doesn't matter as far as the Adelaide United fans are concerned but still well what matters more to them is that Ned Zilich went up the other end and got the third for Newcastle but uh, Travis Dodd coming on been sick with the virus but not a bad play to come off the bench plenty of speed Matthew Kemp just going back there's Nicky Carl into the right back position and uh, Nicky Carl did the, another chance he's had a few shots tonight Nicky Carl got one already he has loaded up on that left boot Carl Pressure is relentless here at Hind Marsh. Even the fresh legs of Travis Dodd can't run that one down. the Hyundai A-League. Richard Money's barking out instructions. Desperately trying to lift his side who came to Hindmarsh of course on the back of three straight losses. And the two 17s go at it and Mark Shield has found a foul against Adam Van Dommel. Thompson size it up skimmed off the top of Carl Viet the Adelaide defence deal with it momentarily still with Thompson Corbo a rare central position for him asks a fair bit of Nicky Carl he does very nicely back for Thompson Costanzo nips in in front of Milicic Zelic goes high and into the middle. Way by Christian Reese. And Ned Zelic with experience in that draw the foul of the defence of Chad Bujaya. And you 
see the J coming in and to be fair to Mark Sheila, I think he got that one absolutely right. Foul and Jim getting up and gingerly there. And there's a lot of experience there, but we know that drag things out. Time keeps ticking away. Adelaide want to keep the ball moving, keep the tempo up. now coming from the Jets. Jade North goes into the box. A bit high for Milicic it is. They might be able to break quickly now and later. Away goes Travis Dodd. Fresh man on the park, Dodd. Got Matteo Corbo to get round. He doesn't. I thought he may have had the better of him, but Corbo got back nicely. Yeah, well played both players. Good defending and good positive play from Travis Dodd. A lot of pace. Corbo stuck with him. Now Dodd. Balance went in. Newcastle will have to turn back an Adelaide Tide. Now, the booking. It goes for Alan Picken and it's the descent again. Talking to the referee in that. Which one is not going to be happy with that? They need this yellow cards and suspensions will play a part this season. Card for Alan Pickett. Tries to marshal up in defence here. Good looking ball in. Away by Richard Johnson. Up to Milicic. Screaming through the middle was Carl. He might still get a chance, but Beltrami is out in time. Parisi. Bill Parisi, jinking inside, now Carl, back for him, and they prize an opening, the shot blocked, here's Kohler, Stanzo is limping after that block challenge, North for Newcastle, Kohler, and he's in some trouble, Ange Costanzo, the block on Anthony Milicic's shot. It can be painful, but he's only put his body on the line. And just stands up. That's going to be the last part he plays. Pantelides comes on. Pants, Pantelis, so. I'm sure Pantelides plays for a different, different club, maybe Melbourne Victory. He'll be on show on Sunday, so my apologies to Pantelis. He'll have his mind on Sydney, but Rosmina wasted no time in getting Costanzo off the park. And the mighty might, Lucas Pantelis on as the ball's whipped in by Jade North, but it's catching practice for Beltrami, who again tries to release, release Dodd. But a wait till it was Corbo. Now there is a pass back under pressure. Trickery there was Kohler. <laughs> Worked very hard, Paul Kohler, around the centre of the park. The battles there have been ferocious, right from the opening whistle from Mark Shield. He reached the 79th minute. Beer. Across the Van Dommel. Looking for the Jaya, but Zelich was awake. He was asking a bit much. Actually wellied that one into him. But head high, no chance for the Jaya. Change 
for Adelaide United. Cal Vert now playing in the Costanzo role, the base of the diamond. The Joe's gone up front. And Rec now playing at the top of the diamond. So, same shape, just different bodies. He's one of the freshmen, Vijaya, who does well to send away. Man, he's only been on the pitch for a short while, Pentelis. Castle's looking for Rec. Castle's defence kept its shape pretty nicely in this match so far. Now, Parisi. Working with Milicic. Johnson for Thompson. Joining in is North. Can he keep it in? He can. Ten minutes of regulation time remaining here at Hindmarsh. Newcastle, 3-2 leaders. Here's Thompson! Straight down Beltrami's throat. He looks to play on quickly. He was set up nicely for Matthew Thompson and took it. Good technique. Unfortunately for him, straight at Daniel Beltrami. Eight shots for the Jets in this match against four from Adelaide. done pretty well in Newcastle today and Richard Money would be delighted with his side's reaction to last week's defeat at home Perth Glory by five goals to one come out here committed and it looks sharp I say you know, pretty good away performance job's not done yet it's been a very good battle to come here to the team leading the competition Now Nicky Carl. Thompson loses his feet. And the Jets lose possession. A real urgency about Adelaide's play as Beer tries to find Pentelis, who is nudged over by North. And Adelaide have another chance from another set piece. And, and they find another equaliser. Came back from 2-0 to 2 all and conceded straight away. Now Pentelis, again it's deep, and not for the first time this night, it pretty much passes harmlessly by. And he tried to get it in early. And the biggest crowd of the season has rolled in here at Hindmarsh, 13,182. Not many spare suits around, and they've made plenty of noise. Well, they can't be disappointed with what they've seen. But obviously they're disappointed with the scoreline at the moment, but it's been a great match, great entertainment, but just for them, they'll be looking for, at the very least, an equaliser. Now Parisi for Newcastle. He almost got past Val Canis, the boot in from Ben Dommel. Travis Dodd, nice ball to rep. Across his path with Vijaya. Yeah, wrong option. Got the easy ball on the right hand side. Bill Trami, a mile off his line, had to take a touch. Not by choice, but it's led to another free kick here for Adelaide. North at fault on Pentelis. The players slipping over tonight, a bit of dew around in Adelaide. Here is Beert. He's been everywhere. Dodd's pass was short. Now what can Parisi do for Newcastle? The ball away from Jade North who's galloped on there. Now Milicic is all alone. But Vett working back, still Milicic. Joining in is Nicky Carl. Great save, Beltrami. Well, the passage of play. Carl Vett comes away with the ball, but what about his workload? He's back there saving a certain goal. The timely interception. And Ante Milicic, the ball still broke very kindly. There we see Carl Beck coming in. Nicky Carl picks it up. And you think he's going to bury this, but it's a good save with his legs from Beltrami. The clear side of it, Nicky Carl. 
so close to his second goal of the night but the classic counter-attack from Newcastle they get something out of this match Adelaide I'll look at a wonderful save from Beltrami and an outstanding bit of defensive work from Carl Veert Balcanis skips around Parisi Pentelis got the layoff all wrong North goes early for Parisi it is end to end stuff as Newcastle search for the killer goal still Parisi he goes all the way Parisi and again Beltrami stands tall here comes Adelaide Travis Dodd approaching 85 minutes Carl Veer sends it across towards Van Dommel cut out by North Pentelis with the touch too heavy He's brought down by North, who will get a yellow card here for a string of fouls. I can't argue with that yellow card, Jade North. would probably take it at this stage, but what a chance for Newcastle. Parisi did the hard part. He hit his shot straight at Beltrami, and you see Parisi faints the shoot with his right, comes in, opens up nicely for him. It's a good height for Beltrami. Easy save for him really in, in the end and Parisi really just needed to keep that low anywhere left or right of Beltrami and he would have scored. Matthew Kemp into the box. Climbing was Val Canis. He was there. So too was Reese. In from Reese again. There might be a mistake. Corbo came across. Just for a moment, Sheng King Chu was ready to go bang. Well, he was ready, but took far too much time. Just hesitated. The chance was gone. Must attack the ball. A little mistake from the Newcastle defence. Don't have that much time in the box. Now Carl turning for Newcastle. Give it up again, so Adelaide will send it down. Chad Vujay has got plenty of toe, but not enough for that one. And that's impatience from Adelaide. And Travis Dodd playing that one forward. Big ask of Vujay. With a simple ball inside, I think Carl Baird come off showing for it. Probably the better option, but as Adelaide push forward now, it does leave a lot of space. Newcastle, as we saw with Parisi and Nicky Carl, could have added a 3-2 lead but that's their lot at the moment Adelaide they have no option may as well go down by four chase of an equaliser now they battle for possession Adelaide might win out it's that man Carl Veerth again working overtime he gets it back from Ben Dommel in the direction of Travis Dodd he makes a nice jump in front of Corbo. Zelic splits over. And away by Kohler. He's been excellent, Carl Baird again. A great season for Adelaide United. Here's Travis Dodd. Slips around Corbo. Travis Dodd can measure the cross. All the way across. Pentelis! Bunted down by Reddy. And bouncing up is Carl Veert, who wants to play on quickly. Shield demands. Great chance. Travis Dodd just stands this up to the back post. And tell us, outside of the left foot, pretty good save from Liam Reddy. Ball just wouldn't drop kindly for Adelaide United. Ball into the box. Vijaya. Kemp. Across to Veer, who missed his kick. Corbo is there. Milicic. He lays it off for Nicky Carl. Can he finish it, Nicky Carl? He can. With all the pressure from Adelaide. And they always threatened on the counter, Newcastle. And on 89 minutes, they may have sounded the death knell for the competition leader. I'm sure it is, Neil. 
And they didn't die trying. They didn't die guessing Adelaide United pushing forward. That's a wonderful goal, and it's down to that man, Corbo. He chased from the left back to the right side, finally won the ball, played it to Milicic, perfect ball to Nicky Carl. And that's a great finish. With a chance like this just before, which was well saved by Beltrami, outside of the left foot, great technique. And Nicky Carl, second of the night. What a performance from Newcastle, you must say it. After losing 5-1 at home last week, they've come here to the competition leaders and put on a show. And Adelaide have had their part in that show, there's no doubt about that. As we arrive at 90 minutes, three extra minutes of time put up by the fourth official. And crowd really starting to make some average statements around Hindmarsh, frustrated. All that pressure from the home side, they will, were within centimetres of getting the equaliser. They were, but Newcastle in the classic counter-attack. I think it was their third, third go at it. But Adelaide United all their pressure couldn't find an equaliser. Bit of debris on the pitch. Another tough night for Mark Shield. And some missiles being thrown from, as you said, Neil, a frustrated crowd behind the goal there. And a substitution coming for Newcastle. Nicky Carr looks like he is coming off and Stewie Musilek We'll get a, a final few minutes. Oh, fine performance from Mickey Carl. Two goals. We talked about in the pre-game show about his work rate, and he's had that tonight. Week off. A forced week off after his red card. He gets a hug from Richard Money. And what a way to bounce back after, I have to say, a very, very disappointing week last week at Energy Australia Stadium. come to a tough place. Not many teams will come to Highmarsh and pick up all three points. Yes, the game really on a knife edge right through the second half. Newcastle. Paul Kohler. In one of their best tonight. Now the midfield battle has been a keenly fought contest. Kohler and Richard Johnson have been excellent for Newcastle, but it's wonder how much the effect of losing Ross Aloisi pretty early in the second half has affected Adelaide United again. He's such an inspiration to them. They lost him very early last week in Sydney. Laying down the clock now, the Jets. Talk about reignite a season. This is some way similar to that home win against Sydney. As Mark Shield brings it all to a halt. For most of the crowd, as you can imagine, not too impressed, but what an end-to-end -end action it has been. It has finished here at Hindmarsh. Adelaide United 2, the Newcastle Jets 4. And Robbie Slater, well, they were close, Adelaide, but not close enough. But what a match we saw here tonight. Travelling Newcastle fans, very, very pleased and happy, and so they should be. Just said only moments ago about last week, it's is now in the past and this is a great victory for them coming to Adelaide to the top of the table. Well done Newcastle United. Newcastle Jets. Sir. And it does seem a long time ago that they got up and running with that own goal. You watch it here off Matthew Kemp. 
certainly got a bit of luck, didn't they? Second one fell to Nicky Carl outside of the foot. Great finish. Michael Valcanis dragged Adelaide back with that. And when we thought Christian Rees had scored, it came off the head of Matteo Corbo. And then virtually straight after that, Ned Zell what a difference a week and four key players has made for the Newcastle Jets, who gave manager Richard Money the perfect 50th birthday present overnight in Adelaide. Newcastle put four past a side that had only conceded five goals all season. Forget pride and points, the season was very much at stake for Newcastle in Adelaide. The home side wasn't planning to make it easy, but they certainly didn't mean to do this. An own goal gladly accepted by the Jets. The Ned Zelich could have done without this strike. Nicky Carl's effort though, won for the highlight reel. And what a finish from Carl! Suspended last week, it marked the perfect return. There were shades of his rugby league playing dad in Liam Reddy as a goal mouth scramble got everyone involved. He couldn't get his hands anywhere near Michael Valcanis's header though. 2-1 and with their tails up, Adelaide almost levelled it before the break. Climb! Richard Johnson never takes a backward step and his man-marking mission on Angelo Costanzo was one running battle not to be missed. A heartbreaking header from Jets defender Matteo Corbo got Adelaide the goal they were chasing. Level again, but not for long, after a simple nod from Ned. And would you believe it? Ned Zelic! The captain's first goal this season, and didn't he enjoy it? Going in for the kill, it was hats off to former Newcastle gloveman Daniel Beltrame, who saved Adelaide twice, but not thrice. Can he finish it, Nicky Carl? He can! Sealing a 4-2 win, you could tell what it meant to this side.